In this episode, we head to Monrovia, California, which is home to Sam's Mediterranean Kebab Room. It's a local eatery owned by Lebanese immigrant Sam Najjar and his family since 1997. Things started off well as business picked up in the early years. The last few years have been anything but. The decor is depressing, there are barely any customers, and the only remaining employees are Sam and his family members. To make matters worse, none of his seven kids even want to work there anymore. It's led to arguments between the family members. They really don't know what to do. Bring in your head, don't hit you one on your head. And Especially the eldest son, Jamal, who is always going after his siblings. No, we, we can accept that, but the fact that you come back there, oh, you guys can't cook, you guys are shit, it's you guys not, are that. I don't say it the first time, no, I say it after the 13th table. Job. It's also put a big strain on the family in general, with no money coming in. I'm doing all this work from day to night, every day, and I don't even get paid. It's the only income the family has, and if things don't improve, they'll end up bankrupt. So with all that said, can Chef Ramsay help turn things around for Sam's Mediterranean kebab room? Before Gordon can even make his way to the restaurant, he is greeted by Sam's children in a secret meeting. The million dollar question is, what's wrong with the restaurant? The kids talk over each other before eventually coming to one conclusion. The problem is their dad. Gordon learns that the kids are at the restaurant seven days a week and is shocked that they are the only staff there. As far as Sam is concerned, his restaurant is strictly a family business, and his entire family will be a part of it whether they like it or not. He did not have seven kids for us to go and do what we want. He always wanted us to like stay together in the restaurant. Essentially, the kids want Gordon to help Sam change his ways, and even be ready to let some of them fly off from the flock. Gordon eventually arrives and meets the man of the hour, Sam. There are even more surprises as Gordon learns the kids don't have a salary. But hey, at least they can live at home for free. That's why I'm not charging anybody. You're not that. charging anyone. What, to live at your house? That's, that's, a, that's a nice start. We start to see signs of delusion as Sam claims his kids are happy to work with him while two of them sarcastically agree under their breath. But as for the restaurant's problems, Sam believes things are slow. His kids are fighting all the time, and not to mention, he's in the red for thousands of dollars. The food, though? Sam gives it a 9 out of 10 and recommends a lamb shank, with the meat being sourced from New Zealand. That's before Gordon notices a big hole in the chair's outer fabric. One of the kids, a 19-year-old Lena, arrives to serve Gordon and can only awkwardly smile as Gordon points out that meat is spelled wrong on the menu. Regardless, Gordon orders his dishes, including the lamb shank. It's time for a taste test. As Gordon waits, he can't help but notice the terrible decor surrounding him. What is even harder not to notice is the arguments that can be heard between Sam and his kids as they cook Gordon's food. Eventually, the veggie combo arrives, and it couldn't be any more bland if it tried. Gordon is also shocked to learn the eggplant is canned. Next up is the Euro plate, and Gordon immediately wants to know if it's fresh meat. Imad, who cooked the dish, informs Lena it comes frozen from a company and later gets heated up in the rotisserie. This only leads to another argument with Sam that can be heard around the world. Fresh that means you make it. I told her it's frozen. Yeah. You're talking to the head chef and the wall. I understand? told her it was frozen. Gordon finds it tasteless and has it sent back. Hopefully, the lamb shank has some redeeming qualities at least. Nope, it too is bland and has plenty of presentation issues. All this while the kids in the kitchen argue about how bad the cooking is. He said, send this back to New Zealand. But I believe myself I make the best lamb shank here in California. As customers leave, there's still a few more dishes to go, including the top sirloin steak, which Gordon is expecting to be medium rare. However, it's well done, and not in a good way either, as it's solid and dry. The rubbery scampi is not any better, as Gordon is ready to give his official verdict to the Najjar family. But it only leads to further arguments, especially between Jamal and Imud, who repeatedly go at it, while Sam can only give a see-what-I'm-dealing-with expression. Sam hasn't given up on the business, but Imud certainly has, as he reveals he doesn't want to be there in the first place. Gordon hasn't seen anything like this before, and needs some fresh air. And yes, you guessed it, Jamal and Imud continue arguing soon after his departure. Meanwhile, Sam has to come to terms with the fact that no member of his family is happy there. But there's still a dinner service to get through. Gordon comes back later and has a one-on-one -on -one chat with the mother, Alem, who he initially thought was another sister. Hi. Hello. You have another sister? My mom. My mom. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to and meet first you. And first name is? I'm Ahlan. Unlike Sam, she doesn't want the kids to be forced to work there and is also facing struggles of her own as she sheds tears. 
Gordon warns her that she and Sam risk losing the kids if they continue to be chained in the manner that they are. It's time for the dinner service, and Gordon is keeping an eye on the kitchen. The cooking continues to be erratic with the kids interchanging duties on the grill. Lots of steaks are sent back for not being cooked the correct way. An even bigger problem arises when Gordon learns how rotten some of the inventory is, as an emotionless Sam can just nod on. Meanwhile, more food is being returned for being raw, and Gordon makes sure the family knows it. Sam lectures his sons, but as far as Gordon is concerned, he should be taking responsibility for letting it get served in the first place. I'm amazed that you're still open. Amud is fed up of hearing Sam complain about everything being their fault when it's him who is keeping them there in the first place. Jamal, on the other hand, is arguing with one of his sisters, Randa, this time, and it only intensifies when the night is over and they all go outside for some fresh air. Cook your food right and then you can serve it. Shut up, shut up. Get out of my face. Gordon can't help but feel this is anything but a family, and the fact that the kids feel trapped there is probably playing a huge role. The sun rises on a new day, and Gordon meets with just the kids. The only solution as far as Gordon is concerned is for them to finally be open and honest to Sam about their frustrations, even if it hurts him. Sam arrives and is seated to hear what everyone has to say in what is essentially an intervention. As the daughters speak up, Sam ridicules them one by one, saying they are too young to do what they want. I don't think this is going to go as well as Chef Henry thinks it's going to go. My dad is not an open-minded person, like, at all. Gordon steps in and is fed up of Sam making his kids feel guilty and making them carry the burden of the restaurant's failures. Another son speaks up and gets emotional while doing so before Sam himself erupts into tears and is consoled by Gordon. His world is collapsing as we speak, after all. It's Imud's turn, and he outright states he hates working at the restaurant, but will be there for the short term to help Sam turn it around. Jamal, who we've seen be brash throughout, is also emotional and believes they all argue because nobody cares enough to make a difference. The good news is Sam seems to have finally opened his mind. Of course it makes sense. I can't stop them. I can't stop them. Sam gets emotional again and is embraced by his family as he vows to be there for everybody. It truly feels like the family has been repaired in a massive way. But while the father and his children have come to an understanding, the food still needs to be worked on. And so, Gordon started schooling Sam and the kids on how to properly cook and glaze the kebabs. Everyone tastes and enjoys the delicious food, and in a rare moment, are a happy family again as Gordon snaps a photo. The sun rises and it's time for a restaurant overhaul. Gone is the depressing decor and unpleasant smell of the old Sam's Mediterranean kebab room. Blindfolded family, instead, open their eyes to a more modern and casual kebab house, which Gordon claims was one of the most expensive makeovers in the show's history. There's a new carpet, art blocks on the walls, brand new blue chairs, and also an overwhelmed Sam who loves all the changes and hugs Gordon. But that's not all. Gordon has also implemented a contemporary Mediterranean menu, and Sam is ecstatic to say the least. Gordon is also training the kids on how to properly cook the items from this new menu, and the results are there for everyone to see. The customers love the new location, the food is tasty, but most of all, the family is united and enjoying work. They're actually a family again. Nobody is happier than Gordon, who gifts the family a framed photo which he took earlier, the moment he knew things had truly turned around. Gordon hugs Sam and says his goodbyes. He leaves with a sense of optimism that the restaurant will continue doing well, and that Sam's children end up doing what they want to in the future. We learn that in the months that followed, Sam's Mediterranean kebab room continued to flourish with packed house. He was able to give his kids time off, and even decide to hire outside his family for the first time in years. But what's happened to everyone since, and is the restaurant still in business today? And how did fans react to the episode? The original episode was filmed in July 2012, and aired in February 2013 as the ninth episode of the sixth season of Kitchen Nightmares. There was definitely a lot to unpack for fans who still reflect on the episode today. On YouTube, one noted how it may have been the saddest episode they've seen, as a father had a dream for a restaurant, but none of his kids shared that same dream with him. Others understood the frustration of the kids, given that they were unpaid and basically doing slave labor. One user notably commented how they know what it's like for parents to make you feel guilty even when it's not your fault. One major issue fans had was with the eldest brother Jamal for instigating fights and just being downright immature while not offering any solutions. Another comment joked at how Gordon has fixed more families than Dr. Phil. 
Other fans on Reddit believe it was necessary as they felt Sam's needed the most help out of any restaurant given their situation as well as the poor food and horrible interior. All that said, the publicity and changes from Gordon seemed to have helped Sam's Mediterranean kebab room. Overall, the restaurant still had a very poor 2.9 average review on Yelp. So what ended up being the fate of Sam's? In the summer of 2013, it was announced that Sam's would close its doors just a few months after the Kitchen Nightmares episode aired. It would officially close down in January 2014. Interestingly, Sam claimed at the time that business never picked up after the show and also blamed the competition in the area, including a new Mediterranean restaurant. With his restaurant closing, Sam stated he wasn't sure if he'd return to the business again, but was thinking of opening up another eatery somewhere else. Fast forward to the present date, and it seems like Sam never ended up returning to the restaurant business. In fact, we don't know much about what he ended up doing after that. The old restaurant location is currently occupied by a new restaurant named Copper Still Grill, which has a solid 4.1 star rating on Yelp. Not much is known about the rest of the family either, but we do have some interesting information on what some of the kids ended up doing. Lena is currently the site lead at Amazon, a role she has been working in since October 2021 in Los Angeles. The obnoxious brother Jamal, with whom everyone had a problem? It turns out he actually joined the Navy soon after and was assigned to the Navy Expeditionary Logistics Support Group operating at Williamsburg, Virginia. Good for him. Imud, meanwhile, works at IBEW Local 477 and has been pretty active on Facebook. In April 2020, he also posted an image of his wedding. As well, here is an image of him on his honeymoon in the Dominican Republic. Randa also got married, not long after Kitchen Nightmares in 2013. She started her own family after that. She's posted a few pictures on her Facebook page with updates. Finally, Alem has been the most active on social media, with pictures of her family and even one with her in what looks to be a very happy Sam. Hopefully, everyone in the Njara family is doing well in whatever they pursue next.